My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be comparing Matco with Gear Wrench. So, here in front of me, I've got a three piece set of Gear Wrench 84 tooth ratchets. We've got a quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive. And then down here, we've got a Matco half inch. A Matco 3 8 inch and I don't have a Matco uh, quarter inch we've got a Craftsman quarter inch to compare to. Um, mostly we'll be comparing against the Matco I uh, just wanted to briefly uh, bring in the Craftsman and we'll be doing a teardown. If you haven't seen my Matco snap-on Mac warranty repair video be sure to check that out. Uh, that's the reason we're doing this. With my warranty refund from Matco I purchased a gear set which I plan to install in these gear wrench ratchets but before I take these apart I wanted to compare them with Matco, see how they compare. These are the older style ratchets, and these are brand new from Gear Wrench. Um, so we'll see how they compare and uh, kind of do an apples to oranges comparison. So for starters, let's open up this um, box, container, whatever you want to call this. Is this container toolbox quality? Well, I just sliced into it, so it is pretty thin. I suppose it would probably work for a short period of time. But I wouldn't say that that's going to last um, very long at all. This does come off. Eighty-four tooth. I believe these are a lot less. Sixty tooth, maybe. This is the BR eight T USA made again by Matco three eighths, and we're going to see how many tooth this is. So we got the ball right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty-six. Thirty-six count on that. So size-wise, they're a little bit bigger in length. Um, oh, that's a lot. That's not very. That first go was really rough. That's, that's still binding a lot. Obviously, this one's broken in a lot easier. Got left-handed here. I'm not a big fan of that already. Okay. 84 tooth. I hope it's bound up. It's kind of catching there in the middle. The gears sound good. Teeth sound good. Probably sounds even better than this Matco. This Matco could probably use a rebuild or a repair. Pretty gunked up. So there's the initial comparisons there. We got Matco on the right, gear wrench on the left. And we're pretty close. The gear wrench is obviously a little bit thinner. Um, both are pretty slim to the table. Uh, gear wrench really tucked up in there well. Uh, Matco really tucked up pretty nice as well. Um, but just a little bit thicker head body here. Profiles are pretty close to the same. Let's go to the half inch. Okay, that, that mechanism works better. Again, a lot higher tooth count on this one. Size-wise, again, the gear wrench are a little bit bigger. Um, again, Matco on the right, gear wrench on the left. A little bit thicker on the Matco. Um, just Real sleek and slim underneath. Really pretty pleased with that. Um, the design on both of these levers. This one looks like it protrudes more, uh, just visually. But when you lay them down, um, they're pretty well tucked in there. Not too shabby. Okay, let's go ahead and do a tooth count on this Matco half inch. This is a US made CA10T half inch ratchet by Matco. We're on the N. 1, 2, 3, Yeah, it must be a 36 tooth. I've never really uh, gone in depth like this and, and really com contrasted my tools. I just use it, and looking at other tool review videos and doing that just now, 
this thing needs a rebuild probably. That was really gritty, really rough. Uh, maybe I'll take this part and clean it. And lastly, just for kicks, we've got um, the gear wrench. I'm excited to have a new quarter inch. I don't really, I rarely use quarter inch uh, because I've had this Craftsman and it's kind of just a piece of junk. As I was playing with this, it kind of skips teeth and it just doesn't feel real good. I'm not sure what the tooth count is on this one. For comparison, really close to the same size. Uh, let's take a look at the bodies. Okay, we got Craftsman on the right, gear wrench on the left. Obviously a huge difference here. Um, this Craftsman has this push button here and the lever and both of them stick out pretty high and it's kind of just floating there. Uh, the gear wrench is really pretty flush. And side profile pretty close to the same. The head you know, the overall shape's pretty close, but that's night and day difference right there. Let's see for kicks what what tooth count this is. Obviously, this thing is junk. Like, it, it, it sometimes doesn't catch. See, you can see right there, I'm just going back and forth. It's not clicking. Yeah, it, it, this thing's bad. I, I, I'm really excited to upgrade at least the quarter inch. So let's see how many. I don't even know if I'm going to figure out how many tooth this is. But let me... One... Oh, it's gonna be hard. You can hardly even feel these puppies. Okay, if I hold down on that, let's try that. Okay, 10 space in the camera. Yeah, 36 tooth on that one. A well, as well. Oh well. Okay, Craftsman could probably use a rebuild. Oh, should we tear into these? I don't want to get uh, premature on this. Um, I think we'll wait to tear these apart. Maybe I'll do a separate video of cleaning and repairing uh, these ones. I've never done that before, obviously, as you can tell by how gross these look. I wonder if these would clean up well, though. Okay, 36 tooth versus an 84 tooth. Obviously, a big difference there. Um, when we're looking at ratchets, what are, we, what, are, you know, what are the main components? And like I said, this I plan to do a rebuild with. Um, it's, it's my understanding that these 84 tooth units uh, have the same internal components as the Matco 88. So I've actually got, with my warranty refund from Matco, I've actually got three sets on their way. That's why I bought this set. So I'm going to try and upgrade the quarter inch, the three eighths, and the half inch all to Matco 88 tooth uh, gears. And really, you think about it, a ratchet, that's, that's the main working components. Uh, these actually sound really nice. Much, much nicer than what I've got currently in these older Matcos. Craftsman, Matco, Matco. All of these, in comparison them to an 84 tooth, they really seem outdated. 36 tooth versus 84 tooth, quite a difference. And honestly, these gear wrenches aren't the newest. They've actually got a 90 tooth gear wrench as well as a 120 XP uh, gear wrench as well. I haven't heard as many good things about the 120. I've heard that they, people love the, the gears. I don't know why you need more than 80, 90 gears. Obviously, you can see a huge improvement going from 36. Um, but I think 120, you're just getting a little excessive. But I, don't, I wasn't sure if the 120s would fit the Matco 88 set that I want to do. As well as one advantage of buying these 84 tooth is because they've come out with the 120 XP, uh, those are the new thing on on the, the block. That's the hot stuff that is out there, and they're charging a premium for this. I picked up this set for $65 on sale. So three ratchets for $65. Bucks. Uh, you can't really beat that, I don't feel like. So I'm excited for this next project, doing the upgrades of these. Really, I don't know that that's necessary, but uh, didn't really have any other way to use my, my Matco... Uh, reimbursement, so I figured that was a good way to go with that. I did find a replacement for my Matco warranty, so this isn't the one, but I sent in a 15 millimeter of this, uh, it's like the Matco flex handle or twist handle. I sent these in for warranty, they didn't send back the 15, so with that money, I'm gonna be buying the replacement gear, and I found a replacement set of these that I'll be using to replace that set, and so I'll be doing that in a different video as well. I'll show you what how I'm restoring my set back to full. Uh, Matco no longer sells these. 
uh, twisted handle ones, so I decided to uh, purchase the gear, repair gears for these instead. Thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage video. Hope you enjoyed this review on gear wrench versus Matco. If you want to see more of these, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, as well as any questions or comments, you can leave them there. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching the Thrifty Garage. We'll see you on the next one. Well, thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. We'll see you on the next one.